All right, guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made a song for Drake's. If you're reading this, it's too late. Now, all the stems from this beat are available through my email list, which is the first link in the description and is 100% free, absolutely free value for you. So I'd highly advise going down and checking that out. Let's get straight into the video. So coming into the project here, uh, I was trying to go for the very cold Toronto sound. So this is a sample I found in a Cymatics drum kit. And I'll just play you the first part of the sample and then the part of the sample that we use. So when I heard that sample, automatically I just thought this sounds like Drake in the 2015, 2016 era where he was making, you know, ex almost exclusively rap music. So straight away, dragged it in. And then I was gonna show you this build up, which has some of our first drums in it. Just very simple, some kind of sparse hi-hats, uh, uh, snare with some of the high-end taken off, um, filtered to just give that um, the sound that Drake was going for at the time. A lot of it was very filtered in the drum section, but the hi-hats I noticed always stood out a lot. So that's what I was implementing in this song. So as you can hear, the hi-hats are pretty sharp at the top, uh, the snares you know, kind of moderate. And then that second snare, just which acts as percussion, uh, is very filtered. And then obviously we have this riser. So now the part that actually matters, uh, we come into the drop section here and I'll just let you listen to what it sounds like. So I think that sounds very reminiscent of what Drake was doing at the time. So we take our melody and we cut the low end out of it. So we take our melody, we cut the low end out of it, and then we bring in this bass. So I will show you the bass first. So just a simple 808 pattern. And obviously you can also hear We've got this very um, jumpy kick pattern, and it's something that's not very common, but I notice it in some of the Drake songs. Lots of the times, the rhythms that he's implementing are traditional of regular hip hop. Um, so that's what I was implementing here. It sounds weird on its own, but with the rest of the percussion, it really brings up the energy of the track. You'll hear now once we bring in these other drums. So obviously we have these, uh, the same drums that were in the build up section there and then I've also added some more hats. So these are what they sound like. You'll also hear that I added in a bit of clap on the snare just to add a bit of reverb and high end to that snare once it drops. So the drums all together sound like this. We also have this little hi-hat fill at the end of the bar, which is actually for drill. But it just adds more of that high-end energy, which I was talking about, um, that Drake was using a lot in this time. No. Then we come to the second half of the chorus and we add in this higher octave of the melody. Just to add some more energy to the second half of the course. I like to do it and it's an easy way just to add a little bit more to the original sample without doing anything too crazy. So that's the drop section. I'm just going to quickly bring you through the arrangement now. So for our verse, we get this um, automation on the higher octave 
of the melody melody so i'll let you hear what that sounds like <laughs> That kind of um, side chain effect was actually used a lot. If you listen to the song with uh, Lil Wayne, what's it called? I can't remember, but the song with Lil Wayne is kind of like that once it drops. So the song comes to about three minutes. Uh, I like to keep my arrangements pretty short, so that's the reason for it. And uh, that's pretty much the whole song. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated, but like I say, you get a lot of energy with those uh, hi-hats. You also have the very cold melodies, and overall, just a very cold, windy atmosphere. Uh, something that actually on views, you know, implementing the wind and cold melodies is similar, and obviously from a similar era. So I have recorded some vocals for this song to give you an idea of what it sounds like with uh, some vocals on it, give you more of an idea of what it would sound with a rapper on it, uh, like Drake. But first, I'm going to say, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, if you want to stick around for future uploads, feel free to subscribe. As I said at the beginning of the video, all the stems from this beat are available through my email list, which is the first link in the description. And that is completely free to sign up to. So I highly advise that if you're interested in getting into this song a bit further and seeing what is actually going on. Other than that, guys, I'll leave you to it. And all right. Yeah, I guess it's been a minute in it. I guess I left before I finished. Come back and show us how to win. <laughs> now I'll come back and count some digits. Question, what's your net worth? I've been thinking, what's the value of this wasted breath worth? Maybe you should take some time and think about what my head's worth. Then you try to circle around and ask me what my set's worth. <laughs> That's a loaded question. Point is I can warp reality, I bend like Beckham <laughs> Take that as a lesson Don't ask anything to try and give yourself attention <laughs>